First at 5.30 tonight, we continue to follow breaking news involving a police-involved shooting in New Haven. Tonight, we're getting a look at the police body cam footage of the incident for the very first time. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Denise DeSenza. I'm Dennis House. We learned a lot about where the case stands this afternoon. We want to get you an update on three things we have learned. First, state police released the body cam video to the public just hours ago. There is no audio at the beginning of the Hamden officer's body camera recording, though, and the Yale officer's body cam and dash cam were not turned on at all. Tonight we sat down with retired state police lieutenant Paul Vance for a closer look at this new video. Channel 3's Aaron Connolly spoke with him just moments ago and Aaron is joining us now with the latest. Aaron? Well, Denise and Dennis, we have been getting different angles of this officer involved shooting from surveillance video, but tonight for the first time we are getting our first look at this body cam footage. 20 shots fired! 20 shots fired, Argyle Street with the car, with the car. A body camera worn by Hamden police officer Devin Eaton is giving us a new look at what happened in last week's shooting in New Haven. Retired Connecticut State Police Lieutenant Paul Vance watched the video with us to analyze it. You can see the officer fire off a few shots before taking cover behind a parked car. I think we should be very cautious about what we look at because taken out of context, sometimes things are misinterpreted and that can be very dangerous. In a press conference this afternoon, Department of Emergency Services and Public Protection Commissioner James Rovella revealed the Yale officer never turned on his body camera or cruiser camera. Hamden police officer Devin Eaton did not have a cruiser camera and did not engage his body camera until after the first shots were fired. A recall feature allowed us to view the start of the incident, but there was no audio for the first 16 seconds. There are standards in, that are set forth here in the state of Connecticut by the Police Officer Standard and Training Council uh, relative to body cams and dash cams. And, and, you know, certainly if those standards were not adhered to, there would be culpability on the part of of the individual who did not activate whatever was required to be activated at the time. Ravello also said it is unheard of for all of this to come out so quickly, but that trust and integrity is what they strive for as they continue to investigate. From everything I've watched from my perspective, it appears as though the investigating agency and state police are being very transparent in everything that they're doing, which is extremely important. Now the body camera footage is being sent out to be enhanced tonight. Both officers remain on administrative leave and so far no charges have been filed. We are live with the mobile newsroom tonight. Aaron Connolly, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Aaron.